Tonight, the search is on for a gunman accused of opening fire downtown, killing one person and injuring another. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday night. I'm Kathleen Bade. That shooting taking place hours ago on Park Boulevard, right next to the Central Library, and that's where we find our Liberty's Zabala tonight. She starts us off live with more on the clues that could help find the shooter. Liberty. Good evening, Kathleen. Well, we just got access to surveillance footage showing a man with a gun fleeing the scene moments after the shooting. Surveillance footage from Hob Coffee shows customers running from their seats. Moments later, an individual wearing a ski mask with a gun in hand seen running away. There was some sort of uh, interaction at right in the foyer of the library, right in the entrance. Um, during which our suspect produced a firearm and began firing at the people that were there, obviously striking two of them. The shooting took place in broad daylight just after noon, right outside of the library near Petco Park. Neighbors captured cell phone footage showing officers rendering first aid to save the victims' lives. Sadly, one man died at the scene. And you saw one guy still moving a little bit, and the guy they were administering CPR to for like five to eight minutes was, um, there was a lot of blood, so you kind of assume that he wasn't going to make it. Police described the victims as two men in their 20s. The second victim suffered a gunshot wound to his lower body and is expected to survive. Police described the suspect as a man wearing dark clothing. This witness described the shooter. Uh, just a black male, probably, you know, six foot, six two, somewhere in there. Um, slim build, uh, wearing black sweatpants, white lettering down the side, black pullover. And I went, ah, oh, he's up to no good. And police have identified the man who has died, but are not releasing his identity until his family has been notified. They also say they are collecting evidence as well as surveillance footage and witness statements here in the area to help catch that suspect. For now, live here in downtown, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News.